Don't Sport Talk Worldwide with some news for the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, going up to the heavyweights, we know Deontay Wilder is still the WBC heavyweight champion with his win over Luis the Real King Kong Ortiz, stopping him late in that fight. Great weekend for boxing. Great for the heavyweight division. Now, we're going to all be looking forward to the next fight. You know, the second part of March Madness in the heavyweight division. You know, Anthony Joshua versus Joseph Parker. And Joseph Parker's trainer, Kevin Barry, said something significant, but he said this before, but uh, uh, something before similar. But he, what he said about this fight with Deontay Wilder, he says Deontay Wilder has uh, set himself to be the guy to beat right now. He's the man to beat after that performance. You know, he said he showed again that he can be behind in fights and he can still land that, that equalizer, that right hand. And, uh, you know, and he said he smart, fought a, a smart fight as well, right? Because he didn't come in there. Just like I told you guys before, he's going to take his time. He's done this several times. It was no reason for me to believe he wouldn't do that against somebody that he knows to be dangerous. So that was what's happening. So Kevin Barry sees that, thinks he's the man to beat. And he said before he thinks uh, Wilder is the most dangerous heavyweight. He said that before. It's just good to hear him say it again, even though he's preparing for another very dangerous heavyweight. You know, so, you know, even Leonis Lewis came in and said, hey, you know, that, that win was just like that Anthony Joshua uh, versus Klitschko win. There's a lot of similarities in those wins. We saw two good heavyweight fights against top guys lately. And it's going to, uh, Joseph Parker and um, Anthony Joshua, it's going to be another one. It's going to be a good one, guys. It's going to be a good fight. No matter what happens, you're going to see something awesome. And that's what I was saying about this fight. You know, we saw an awesome fight. We saw a lot of heart. And the good thing about this is, you know, I was watching Deontay Wilder have his interview, you know, post-fight. And I was thinking to myself the same thing because, you know, all these Anthony Joshua questions all the time, you know. And I think he said something that I was thinking. I would stop talking about Joshua. Whatever, man. It's obvious now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to keep calling the guy out, you know. Everybody know what time it is. And, you know, the pressure needs to come from within his country or within his team or somewhere else. There's no question about this. I was listening to somebody doing a video about still talking about uh, the fight shouldn't happen if, it's, if uh, Deontay Wilder's talking 50-50, right, because of what he made in this fight and what Josh was going to make. Obviously, that we were, that's not an issue anymore. We've already heard, especially people with a lot of subscribers or a lot of whatever, you're supposed to have some information, right? I'm supposed to have information. I got three subscribers. Me, me and them three know what time it is. Deontay Wilder's not talking about 50-50 anymore, right? He's saying, hey, whatever y'all want to give me the first fight, that's what you're going to get in that rematch after you get knocked out. Not a better deal than that on the table. So 50-50, let's get it off the table. No, he's not trying to have that. What he would rather have is the fight. So that's all it is. You take, you give me what you want, the next fight, that's what you're going to get. You know, can't get no more fair than that. Now, Joshua has other problems getting ready for Joseph Parker right now, but it's obvious what we're going to be talking about is the next opponent for this most dangerous guy over here in Deontay Wilder. So, you know, sometimes when some people say this that, um, you know, are not directly affiliated, then some people take issue to when you say something decent about Deontay Wilder. So, Mr. Kevin Barry is training Joseph Parker, right? And he thinks. Deontay Wilder is the man to beat. I agree with him. Don't sports talk worldwide. I'm about to hit.